everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina, and I wanted to show you um, a project I worked on this past weekend using uh, making a giant clothespin. <laughs> um, my friend Terry sent me this along a while ago, and I just never got around to altering it, and I finally did this weekend because I wanted to start using some of my um, some of my new stuff that I picked up, and I needed something to hold maybe a picture or something right in the top here. Uh, to display in my room. So what I did was I painted the, took the clothespin apart and then painted it using um, this folk art parchment paint, acrylic paint. This is uh, my staple color that I have a couple bottles of and I keep it around for whenever I'm altering stuff. So I painted that with the um, parchment paint and then I used some uh, Lindy Stamp Gain Moon Shadow Mist. This is a Gossamer Gold and um, what I did was I sprayed this onto a piece of paper toweling and just dabbed all over the place with, um, on the sides and on the inside of the uh, clothespin as well. And then what I did was I used some um, my new Graphic 45 uh, uh, pattern paper and this is from the uh, Renaissance Fair uh, collection, Masterpiece is the name of this pattern. And what I did was I cut this to fit the um, different sections and I did the same thing on the back as well. Um, and then I ran this through my Distressit machine by Zutter, uh, it's by one of my latest toys, and then inked it using the Black Soot Distress Ink Tim Holtz. And then as I glued my piece down, I left the corners on the top and on the bottom here unglued so that I can kind of curl them up. So that's what I did there. And these right here are some of the uh, Say It and Pearls uh, from Prima. And I think I got these at AC Moore, because now that AC Moore is carrying uh, Prima, so I picked up um, a set of those. And then the flower I made using the E-Line um, flowers, and I really like these flowers. At first I didn't think I really liked them, but now that I played with them a little bit, I really do like them. So what I did was I glimmer misted the flower first with uh, glimmer mist, I, old lace, and you could tell I use this one a lot because it's running low and I have a new one on order already. So first I sprayed it with the old lace, and then I came back and sprayed it with uh, Coffee Shop. So, and I like this, it's got a really nice gold tone to it. So that's what I did with these, and as I glued them together, I kind of just um, picked them up a little bit. And actually, these kind of remind me of another flower that I have by Prima. Let me see if I can find it here. It reminds me a little bit of these flowers, the same kind of um, it's the same kind of petal almost, but I just made it using the E lines. And what I did was then. Um, used these parchment uh, leaves that I got from Your Paper Pantry and I glimmer misted that with, uh, let's see, what color was it? English Ivy first and then I went over that because it was a kind of a strong green with the the coffee shop glimmer mist. So that's what I did with those leaves and then down the bottom is um, a tiny Prima that I had from uh, Michael's that I've had quite a while and I glimmer misted that also with the uh, old lace and coffee shop. I guess coffee shop keeps running out of my brain there. And then I did another one of the uh, mulberry paper, uh, leaves. And then this is one of the Tim Holtz Adage tickets that I got. And I distressed the edges of that and then um, used the walnut stain distress ink. And then I just added one of these little stick pins that I made. And I'll do a tutorial on those one of these days. Um, but there are some tutorials out there that show you. Uh, what to do with those. So that's my clothespin I made. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye!